Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here at NEB 2017, and I have Bill Roberts from Adobe and Brian Lampkin from Adobe as well. And um, first off, it's 25 years since Premiere was introduced, and you were one of the original product managers. How should that make me feel, huh? <laughs> I was, you I was started in the... elementary school. Um, <laughs> so, what I'd love to know is, did you ever imagine how the tool would it, would develop to what it is today? Back then, I mean, was that always? Did you have that in your mind, like, oh, it's going to be? You yeah, know, I, I don't think we fully envisioned what it would develop to, to today. I think I'd say um, the team from the get-go, from the, the founding team, was always a team that was pushing the limits of the capabilities of the hardware, really trying to expand the range of customers that we serve with Premiere. Now obviously in the early days we were fairly beyond postage stamp video and with dedicated hardware cards and uh, with the with the expansion of system capabilities we were able to really move it further and further upstream to target broadcast and post and I'm really proud of not just what we've, what we've achieved with Premiere in and of itself but the full suite of video applications as part of the Creative Cloud offering and I think we we definitely have moved it into the most serious uh, post-production tool set that integrates very richly with a broad range of creative tools. Yeah, it's um, ubiquitous these days, it really, it really is. So you're now currently, what are you working on? The whole creative kit? Yeah, so I, I manage the digital media business and, and product unit, and so I, uh, everything that's creative, the creative cloud, inclusive of Photoshop and you know, everything that all the video products, Illustrator, InDesign, everything that's part of that, in addition to the document cloud, so Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Sign, et cetera. And really, the, the full spectrum of desktop tools to mobile applications to integrated cloud functionality. Obviously, we have a very large community presence with Adobe Behance, over 10 million community members and, and growing strong. And then the marketplace around that, we, we introduced uh, last year Adobe Stock, and obviously yep. with, here at the at NAB last week, we announced a relationship with Pond5 to dramatically enhance our, our video offerings as part of the stock marketplace. So uh, really think of Creative Cloud as the as the one-stop shop, as the true platform for creativity for everyone, and that's, uh, that's where I spend most of my time. Nice, and, and I know you guys had some recent announcements. We did. Uh, we announced and shipped new versions of everything from the video family, so it's super exciting. Um, so we actually announced and shipped on the same day, Bill? Boom, done. It's delightful. No more of this, what is it shipping? So uh, uh, it's really fun, actually. It's great to be here with customers being able to download the latest versions and actually try them out, because it is a big release. Um, the biggest thing we're getting the most response to is what we call motion graphics templates. So we know After Effects is a staple of the industry used by literally millions of people to create anything that's motion graphics or visual effects. The challenge we had is because it's such a deep product, it's not the easiest thing in the world to learn. So we had a lot of people who wanted the output of After Effects but couldn't get to it. So what motion graphics templates are in their most simple form is taking all the power and allowing the motion, the motion graphics artist to define what the interface will be for editors. So you can take a motion graphics template and apply it in Premiere and have a rich opening, a bumper, a lower third, full detail, but maybe all it's exposed to is a text field and a couple of sliders to adjust parameters inside of it. And it can contain everything. It can contain Photoshop, Illustrator, it can contain sounds, it can contain anything you can put into After Effects it can go into an motion graphics template. And along with that, we've actually built out a fabulous new text engine as well. So anybody who's used a text tool in Adobe anywhere will feel totally comfortable. So it's all modern, all fresh, super performant. So that's one of the things that's really exciting. Uh, you and I always talk, so you know we've started this path of democratizing hard tasks. So we started with the Lumetri color panel, so we started to do that. We've now introduced motion graphics templates that make motion graphics easier. And also in this release, we've uh, brought the Essential Sound Panel that we introduced at IBC into Premiere. So again, now we've got simplified, powerful audio designed with an editor in mind, not an audio expert. So that really helps, because that ties into the trend that we see across the whole floor. Everybody here is trying to do more. They're getting their programs on air, but they need it on the web, I need content for social. So we've brought all of that into the product to make it a lot faster. So far, going really, really well. That's just the big feature. So you're giving them a head start in a sense. So yeah, and everything's 100% compatible. So you can, you can just, if you wanted to, you can open up the motion graphics template in After Effects and see how it was all built. So we're giving them some you know, breadcrumbs into the more complex products. Same thing for Essential Sound into Audition. 
but they can make it their own if they want. So if somebody's a little more technical or a little more yeah, far, exactly. you know, further advanced. Exactly. And we think this, you know, Brian mentioned stock. We think this is the direction that we want to explore for these. These are things that can be shared. New opportunity for motion graphics artists to you know, realize uh, revenue from their efforts. So it's going to be a, a, the direction we're going once we get this out into the market and people creating on it. Yeah, that's, okay. that'll be a big opportunity. It puts all, all the power and the aesthetic in the hand of the designer, but we'll let them share that much more broadly so that everyone can take advantage of it. Right, allows them to do more. Because right. I know I speak to editor, you know, video editors every day, and they're being tasked, you know, you need to do more. You need to right. color grade this at least basically. You need to mm -hmm. add some, some music and, yeah, grab some stock and, and, and do that. So this is giving them all of that yep. and making their life a little yeah. bit easier. Yeah. The reality is, you know, today it's all about digital experiences. and. Whether it's video, imaging, illustrations, the bar just keeps going up. So, more, more content, more surfaces. So, things like this that can really put put fine design in the hands of a broader creative population is a good thing. Okay. Well, we all, we're, we're almost out of time, but just before VR, everybody wants to know about VR. Can yeah. you uh, give me a little nugget? Oh, sure. So, like, it's been a fabulous year with VR. So, we see, if you look out there, the majority of stuff you see that's in 360 or VR goes through our system. So we've got all the great video controls in there, support for equirectangular, mono, stereo, over-under, you name it, all that. What we're announcing here is sound is really one of the things that people are realizing drives the experience. So we had, at first, ambisonic support in audition only. We've now got it directly into the timeline. So you can take in your multi-channel audio, and we always think through the end-to-end -end experience. So if you want to publish out on a platform that supports uh, MB Audio, such as YouTube, you can do that. And I don't know if you followed uh, F8 last week, so with Facebook. So Facebook's really driving on the immersive, so we announced uh, our partnership, we're working with them on their sixth DOF. So instead of just having flat video in VR, this actually gives depth to it. So instead of just seeing the table, you can actually get a sense of depth with the table. So we're partnering with um, Facebook to deliver an end-to-end -end experience with their new cameras, which offer this 6 DOF. So pretty exciting times. It's pretty cool. Well, thank you guys. I know it's a crazy show. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, and, thanks uh, for taking the time. Sharing the information. Appreciate Brian, it. it was good to see you again. Good to see you again. Yeah, thanks, Randy. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. Adobe.